Hey, lovelies. Here we are, back again in Tertia Tower. Uh, time to commence in building. Doing this one split level because we're getting to that lovely part in the building where the doors don't line up with the floors. And, uh, yes, we're going with a dark color scheme this time. A very high contrast. Very dark and very light and very red. Convenient for the wall outside. I'm trying to figure out exactly where to put ceiling levels. This one I'm going to do more like a loft than a full two level. And I have no idea where I was going for that one. <laughs> we'll get some workbenches. You know, I could almost forget to put in a workbench or a crafting table unless I need some microblocks. Anyway, microblocking in some railing and got a perfect size little corner there to get a teeny little bathroom in. And then adjusting the stairs, I was actually able to get a pantry underneath. So, it's redstone brick floor in there. I'm just going to do stairs and make use of all the space. And of course, micro block it in to keep from falling. Got great views from everywhere in this house, except the bathroom. But some houses make up for that with a view from the bathroom that you probably didn't want. Gonna do a tiny little kitchen over there. And it's gonna step straight down onto the concrete subfloor to have the pantry down there. It's gonna have the fridge, a few shelves, and some lockers snuggled in under the stairs. Uh, I think it's a Mr. Crayfish fridge I went for, and also Mr. Crayfish counters. They work so well. They connect. They look nice. Despite me being too lazy to make the sinks work by getting water underneath them. Meh. Couple bookshelves. And as close as we can get to matching things with a bed. Uh, the bathroom is also going to be the Mr. Crayfish setup. I think I had room for a bathtub in there, shock and all. Not a lot of the bathrooms have room for bathtubs. Alright, so if you couldn't tell, well, you probably can't tell from this distance, we've got painting supplies there. This is going to be a studio. An in home studio, I suppose. The black up there is going to be a drop cloth. Which is convenient, because DecoCraft has a nice little easel there. We'll see if we can't get the art to cooperate for the most part. It's going to be a very open floor plan. I'm not going to close off that bedroom. I'm just going to divide it off with some glass panes. Which is going to go through a few iterations before I'm finally happy with it. a little bit of a lounge area and a support for that second floor because it was floating and bothering me. And up there I'm going to put in a writing table or maybe a drafting table if you prefer to think of it as that. That works as well. Cabinets, I really believe in lots of storage in a house. The more storage you can do the less it stands out. Uh, couches are going with the red-black motif as well. And trying to get through the just one-by-one one paintings is a freaking nightmare. So we're going to come through here and bash our face on the column, which is okay. Figured we needed to walk through to have a look in some of these tighter spaces. Got three different kinds of shelves down there. I think I got the no two, potion and item. I ended up making more of a valence type thing with the panes of glass down there. Got lots of art for inspiration, some storage, painting supplies. Uh, I think that's actually a bibliocraft paint copier, but it looks like a giant scanner and I'm okay with that. I might have to go back and put a laptop up there too. So a loft is actually pretty quick to do. And, wow, nice jump, cameraman. But yeah, loft is quick to do, so we're off to 
do another house. I have run out of shops that would fit in this building. I have had lots of crafting and armoring and builders union suggestions, but uh, those are gonna have to go in other buildings, I think, or individual buildings. So we're gonna do another house. This one's gonna be split level. I don't know why I tend to just go with where I initially punch through the wall and that's gonna be where my door is. I could have certainly done it more efficiently in this one, but eh, eh, hindsight. I'm planning on doing it a full two floors, but we'll open it up so we can see what we're doing down here. I was putting in the bathroom, trying to squeeze a shower in that corner, but man, the Decacraft shower head and faucets, they just did not cooperate, so they needed to go up higher and finagle, and it didn't matter anyway, because I ended up taking the shower out, because having the shower downstairs seems kind of weird when all the bedrooms are going to end up upstairs. Anyway. Working on sorting out. This is a bathroom with a whole lot of storage. It's got three, four lockers in there. And that was a nice little glass shower door, which is completely irrelevant at this point. But in wanting to do that, I ended up making the wall andesite so that it would be, you know, a waterproof wall by the shower and continued into the kitchen. Uh, tried to do wiring in the floor. I was totally wrong. Had to bring it up from the middle. Which then converts the whole kitchen into kind of a galley style, which is fine too. I realized it was going to have to galley style because the landing coming in was uh, rather low. So we'll lock her in short wall out to there. I think that's just uh, concrete counters. I decided to make them a bit shorter so I could put the table over here. Got a pretty decent size one, a 2x2. Two two. I didn't do the chairs in an orderly fashion because they were going to block something no matter where they went, so close enough. Uh, since I do have uh, two layer ceiling floor blocks, I am able to put the project red lighting in there. And we'll carpet in here and get a nice little, little living room. Incidentally, where I made the living room, the ceiling, the living room and kitchen, the ceilings ended up lower than they did in the bedrooms, which wasn't exactly what I intended to do, but, you know, once you've arrived at this point and you realize it and there's a lot of stuff to rip out to fix it, it's just like, mm, no, can't be bothered. But we'll close it in and plan out the upper floor. We're going to aim to get this one to be a two-bedroom. Might be small bedrooms, but hey, you go in there to sleep. It doesn't need to be that big. I think I've done pine floors throughout, and green stained clay for the walls. The carpet downstairs was a the teal chisel, so I wanted to avoid blue walls or orange walls or yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to finagle a shower in there. It's literally going to be a room with a shower. you don't really need that much more, do you? Just figuring out how to antecide it and all that. It ends up looking like uh, pilasters or columns built in by the time it's done. So, punch out those walls so you can see where I'm working on this bedroom. I had to place the blocks to be able to put the deck of craft up. So, teeny bedroom. Size of a bed and figured I'd put a bookshelf in and a locker. And then I decided that the locker and the bookshelf needed to match. So that became a thing. The stairs above the landing, it was kind of a waste of space. So I did, even though it's really low, make it a nice little storage attic up there. Be able to seal it off. So there goes the tile column blocks. Other tiny bedroom. The wainscoting that I was doing with the wood actually worked out really well that I could uh, put lockers in and they wouldn't be too obtrusive, which is really nice. Put another writing desk in because I like desks. And uh, that's a... Uh, planks. That's a telescope because this one actually faces out to sea, which is a really nice view and I don't know what they can see with the telescopes, but uh, I figure it's a fair use. 
But this was another one that was relatively quick to finish off. I figured I'd put some windows into the outside and uh, match the ceiling material. And that will quickly wrap up our uh, two homes for this episode. So, any suggestions, let me know. Till next time, y'all take it easy.